ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and fellow champions of technology in government, I come before you today with a great sense of pride and gratitude as you gather at the SmartGov Summit to explore the transformative power of technology in shaping the future of government. The theme, Digital Transformation in Government, is a timely and a rallying call for us as county governments to join the bandwagon. Receive warm greetings from the source of champions, not only in athletics, but more so in advancing technologies used in government. My congratulations to the conveners of this summit, especially to my friend Harry of DX5. I hope the deliberations yesterday and today will keep the fire of smart government burning. This smart government summit serves as a platform for technology leaders, government officials, and reformers inside government to converge and envision the journey of technology leading us towards smarter government. My remarks today will focus on Nandi County's journey in our commitment to advancing the agenda of smart government. As the OGP point of contact and the chief officer ICT and e-government for Nandi government, I have had the privilege of spearheading the digitization of government services for the past five years. We recognize that the technology is not just a tool, it is the cornerstone upon which we can build efficient, responsive and accountable governments. The following are some of the technological initiatives we have put in place and are transforming service delivery in our great county. The first one, a revenue management system, has helped us to ensure that we have efficient revenue collection and we project for this financial year 23-24 to hit over 500 million shillings in collections. Health management information system has tremendously improved our healthcare delivery and we continue to enhance that sector to ensure that the healthcare of our people is enhanced and served at the right time. The agricultural management information system is revolutionizing the agricultural space, especially with the ongoing registration of farmers. We are making great strides in collecting enormous data in the agriculture sector. Our GIS lab uh, continues to help us transform the landscapes as we currently are developing our special plan, which will be completed in a few months. Finally, the Hello Tractor is transforming our fleet management of tractors, especially as we ensure that farmers get access to these services. On open data for transparency, one of our proudest achievements came when we partnered with the Open Institute to launch the DataDesk, an open platform that publishes government data from all sectors in various accessible formats. This initiative was recognized at the recently concluded OGP Summit in Estonia, and we are, were awarded for Emerging Top in Africa on Digital Transformation. This award speaks to the fact that transparency and accessibility of government data are essential pillars of smart government. Ladies and gentlemen, moving to citizen engagement, in 2021, we were recognized at the People's Choice Awards during the OGP Summit held in China, where we emerged first runners-up in, again in Africa. These accolades came after we implemented a toll-free center, call center, which has enabled citizens to engage with government and access services seamlessly from 2019. The center has handled over 130,000 calls to date, and this is a testament to our commitment to in inclusivity and citizen-centric governance. This year, we are currently implementing our second commitment on open contracting, ensuring transparency in procurement. The process of implementation and open contracting platform for procurement, which will make the entire procurement process open and transparent, is currently underway. It is another step towards ensuring accountability in government transactions. None of these achievements would have been possible without the unwavering support and commitment of our top leadership, led by His Excellency Stephen Sun. His vision and dedication to using technology as a means to improve service delivery have been instrumental in our journey towards a smarter government. Towards AI-driven governance, we look forward and ahead to ensure that we are at the cusp of unveiling our comprehensive human resource system and a new chatbot, which will empower the non-residents to make sense of the vast amounts of data available within our government. This is our way of leveraging the potential of AI in government decision-making, ensuring that our policies are data-driven and people-centric. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, Nani County's journey towards a smarter government is a testament to the transformative power of technology when harnessed with clear vision and an overwhelming commitment. We believe that our experience can serve as an inspiration to other county governments and leaders around the country, showing that with dedication and innovation, we can build county governments that are more efficient, transparent, and responsive to the needs of our citizens. 
I invite all of you to our great county. We love experimenting with technology and you will find a great partner. We would love to spearhead emerging technologies like blockchain in managing our land records, IoT in our fleet management, and AI in our agricultural sector. So karibuni sana, and we, as we say here, go boy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. At least now I can hear. Um, it is a great privilege uh, to be with you in this particular summit. And um, it is essential that we appreciate that the theories that we have been talking about here actually reaches the ground. In our journey as a county government of Narok, there is a lot that we have already done and a lot remains to be done. Narok is a nice county. Narok envisions that the citizenry will be digitally empowered. In other words, we are saying the most important person or asset in the county are our own people. It's not necessarily the technology. The technology can be there, yes. But the citizenry, the one who enjoys, who enjoys the services that the government uh, provides, is the person we aim and envision that they will be empowered. I'll take you uh, on a brief journey about Narrow County. Maybe the, the MC can uh, easily... Okay. When you look at that, uh, we are county number 33. And um, you probably can see that is the person I am tasked to help to know how to use government digital services. That is the principal task that I have, uh, or we have as a department of ICT within the county government. A bit of Narok. Um, we have a rich culture, you know the Maasai community. We are endowed with a number of resources, and uh, we accommodate so many other communities within the county. The number of uh, kilometer, square kilometers is, 80, is 18,000 kilometers. Number of people within Naro County, 1.2 uh, million. Uh, we have eight. Um, sub-counties, um, Masai Mara, no one needs to be introduced to Masai Mara Game Reserve. We are home to it, the eighth wonder of the world. Um, Narok County government is performing well in um, certain aspects, like for example, the control of budget for the year 2022-2023. We are among the five, top five uh, counties that were able to collect from our own source revenue, uh, two billion. Actually, we are uh, saying that uh, this financial year, we are likely to collect 3.5 billion. And um, actually, within Narok, we uh, can afford to give uh, a sub-count, the eight. We can afford to give 100 million for development because of the resources that are available. And probably in the, coming, in the coming months, in the coming years, you will see how Narok is going to be transformed. And of course, 
Um, the ranking, as we have seen in the social media, different platforms, uh, the ranking of the performance of the governor has been ranked uh, among the top five in the country uh, currently. And we are happy. But I go back to my photo. That's a, as a typical Maasai, proud of his cows. May not be so much attuned to what the government provides but now we are living in a new environment and we have the responsibility to ensure that these people learn how to use the technology that is there. As IT, um, as an IT department, we have a certain core mandates. These core mandates are basically, as you can see, we have talked about uh, digital infrastructure in this forum. We have also talked about digital systems, policy frameworks, and digital skills. I'll take a brief view, run over this, then I will go to specific projects, or a specific project that um, demonstrates what the county government of Narok is doing to help improve digital skills. We recognize um, that the foundation of uh, any digitized or small county infrastructure is very important and for us to be able to move forward, we need to have a robust infrastructure. The CS has just been here. The Ministry of ICT has been very um, instrumental in helping us. Uh, they had invested more than 20 billion Kenya shillings to ensure that counties are connected to NOFB, or what is now called the One Government Network. We also work with CA, the Communication Authority of Kenya, to reach to different parts of the county. Um, ICTA, we have also worked with them in terms of connectivity. Uh, I believe uh, Kwanzaa Technopolis will also be part of this uh, team of uh, individuals that we are working with within, county, within uh, government to ensure that we uh, we able to get the right uh, service in terms of uh, digital infrastructure. The backbone is very critical. We also have uh, digital systems. Uh, the performance we talked about, of, uh, for example, of revenue collection, it is because of implementation of certain revenue collection systems. But they, in essence, a digital system is meant to simplify government processes so that we can improve our delivery. It is meant to simplify the sharing of information, the enhancement of efficiency, the reduction of redundancies, the promotion of transparency, allows collaboration, and most importantly, that the decisions, or the information got from their systems can help uh, data-driven decision-making processes. A policy framework is another core mandate that we have. Uh, the key to this particular uh, issue is that we want to build trust. When somebody gives as their personal details, it is very important that we have a policy framework in place that uh, makes it sure that what we have is uh, properly protected, that it remains uh, private, and that 
it, the, we follow the regulatory frameworks that are provided by uh, the national government or the ones that originate from the county. Um, this is a key one, as the fourth one, digital skills for both the staff of the county and the citizens. We have set up a center and uh, we do not look at technology as a success of its own. Because the most important thing is that the person that we have is the one we are going to train so that they are able to then use the technology. That is what makes the difference. I can lay the cables, the fiber cable, I can have the system there, I can have the policy, but if the person is not empowered, then we will not have achieved our goal. It is therefore important that we adhere to uh, the principle of supporting digital skills. There are quite a number of programs that we have done uh, before, but in the future, we are going to expand some of these uh, uh, programs. But in a nutshell, somebody said, simplify. What is it that you are trying to say? The person who was looking after his cows or her cows is the person I have to help to use to understand, to navigate the various technologies and tools that are available in the market. The panelists that preceded, uh, that had a session previously, discussed basic digital literacy. That is the same thing, and we will be uh, together trying to push um, this particular agenda. Because by helping people to understand how to use technology, then that is how we really can, can move on. I don't know why the photos are missing, but uh, I believe I will make my point. That's just a center. Uh, we have a center that we are using, and we have uh, pro uh, programs that we run in that center. We have uh, digital hubs uh, that are there. And we are going to leverage on what government has provided. What the CS has just mentioned, actually Narrow County is going to get 500 hotspots out of that program. And we intend to be able to leverage on, on that. We are also going to have uh, hubs in each of our uh, wards. And there are 30 wards in the, in the county. And we will ensure that these digital uh, hubs are there. There are uh, online resources that we also provide. We will also be interested in doing a PPP, uh, collaborating with the uh, private sector. Uh, this will uh, help um, push forward the agenda of uh, training uh, our individuals. What has been the impact? new skills, and when you have a new skill, you improve your employability, improve ability to uh, deliver service in a more responsive way, in a more efficient way. You have new skills, you can also be an entrepreneur. You can innovate using the new skills and you hence can make a difference. When we empower citizens, it becomes easy. I still can be able, they can be able to run their businesses wherever they are, irrespective of a place where, and even the time, that they are looking at, uh, at they are providing that service. What do we intend to do? 
What we intend to do is that we will continue encouraging continuous learning. We will want to broaden, we will continue to broaden access to these resources. We will collaborate with the industry. We will do the monitoring and evaluation to ensure, to ensure that uh, what we have done can be measured and we can go back to areas that we feel we may not have done well and we will be in a position then to improve uh, the, service of, um, the service delivery that we offer to our citizens. So what have I said? I've said digital infrastructure, digital systems, policy frameworks, digital skills are core to a smart government. Empowering citizens with digital skills needed to drive the digital age. We are doing the foundation so that it is inclusive, it is efficient, and innovative. That is what we would say, it's a smart government. Together, that is the exhortation at the end. Together, let us continue to build a digital future for all our citizens. Thank you.